spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of sport. The thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. The human drama of athletic competition. This is ABC's Wide World of Sports. It's a sport of man and machine, with a thin line between success and disaster. This sport requires daring, courage, and perseverance. And to the ultimate victory in this tough and dangerous arena. It's the most important day in the motorsports calendar. As the clock moves to the start of the engines, a year of dreaming, planning, designing, practicing, and building comes to an end. In the next few minutes, we'll meet the contenders, give you a personalized look at the lineup, and get you up to speed on the latest technological developments. If you don't have a favorite right now, you should be able to pick one by the time the engines start. Largest single day spectator sporting event in the world. The crowd is absolutely massive. It's raining here early this morning. That's right, Paul. We've been on a weather hold most of the morning, but it looks like the weather's clear and it's time to fly. I've been in this position before with the rain delays and so forth, and I can tell you, it is a very tough position to be in for a pilot. All they want to do is get out there and get after it. But it looks like they're able to finish the practice round and everything's going to be set for an on-time fight song. And now over to Frank to hear from GE Motorsports. Well, I tell you, it's, uh, it's quite different than television. Uh, you don't get the full flavor from that. Uh, the crowds here are immense. It's huge, and the people are uh, rather rowdy. The fans have been partying all weekend long. Let's hear from one of the two fighter pilots that GE Motorsports has in this year's finals, Bonanza Thompson. The reason why we have this air show is, to, uh, is for community relations and uh, let the people know where their tax dollars are going. It uh, gives them a chance to come out and see just, just what they're buying for, uh, for their buck. GE Motorsports has a tradition of excellence in engines, but they have yet to win the ultimate prize, the World Series of BFM. Last year, they went out and paid top dollar to get the best fighter pilot over the past two years, Buzz Brasky. He was a two-time All-American, collegiate BFM. Let's continue that trend in the majors. As we watch Buzz start his GE 100s, recap the season. With early victories at Ogden and Las Vegas, Buzz showed he was the pilot to beat this year. However, Rookie of the Year winner Trap Johnson made an impression on everyone with terrific showings late in the season in Phoenix and Panama City. The field is down to four pilots, but it's still anyone's championship to win. This is what the semifinal pairings look like. As always, it's a best of five contest using NATO Fighting Edge rules of engagement. Here are my keys to success, brought to you by Lucky Strike. Get these figured out and any of these pilots will have time to sit back and smoke a Lucky. First off, to win today, you gotta maneuver in relation to the adversary. You always have to consider energy versus nose position. And finally, it's simple. If you lose sight, you lose fight. Now, Bobby, you've flown here a time or two. What are some considerations you had on a competition day like this? Well, you know, for example, the first thing I used to do when I came here is look at the clouds and the wind and the sun. Well, that's great, Bobby. The weather's clear and the first jets are launching now. All right, all right, let's go fight. Now, Paul, you've been doing this for a while. How well do you know these pilots? You don't know them and to say we've been out drinking constantly or stuff like that. Great stuff, Paul. Paul, earlier today we caught up with Brasky to get an insight on his mental approach to today. Flying fighters today is probably the purest form of combat and that I realize that when I enter the aerial arena that regardless uh, of the odds that there's a fairly good chance that it will all boil down to uh, me and my airplane against an opponent and his airplane, and then only one of us will leave the fight. Uh, the opportunities to, for both of us to get away will probably be remote. Uh, so I have to be ready when I go in, uh, mentally and physically, to know that if I don't win this fight, there may not be any others to follow. And now over to Jimmy for a word with the great Frank Braun. How tough is it for you to be in this role now? It's really not. I'm very pleased with my decision. I'm happy here and uh, I've been enjoying it. So thank you well. Paul? And we'll be back to the World Series of BFM in a short break. Here's to you, America. Being 
Welcome back to the World Series of BFM. Ball will join the fight in progress and things are not looking good for Bonanza Thompson. Two, one, fight's on. McFly's got those burners, let he's rolling his socks down. Ball looks like he's trying to barber pole. Come on now, if you go up, you blow up. Oh, hang on to it. Bonanza going one circle. I don't know about that ball. Still with you. Still with Watch you. that, Alpha. Still with you. Come on. Watch that. Oh, hang fly. on to it. Holy biscuits, he's getting out. Oh, my. You all right? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's catch up with McIntyre's crew chief to figure out the possible cause of that crash. We had a little problem with the timing and everything yesterday in practice, and uh, we may have damaged the motor then, so... Uh, We'll just go back to the garage and see if we can do anything to get back out. But uh, right now, it looks like it's it's all over. And now over to Kenny Manchester, who's talking to Fly McIntyre. I was out of control then, and uh, Tommy told me to keep going, and so I tried to get more, and more wasn't there. Well, Paul, with no spares available, it looks like that's it for McFly McIntyre today. The fight summary is brought to you by Old Spice and by Towelettes, etc. This napkin-sized towelette is saturated with a cleansing lotion that cleans and refreshes hands and face without soap or water and self-dries in seconds, leaving skin soft and smooth. Towelettes, etc. There goes Buzz Brasky in the safety chase. This is the World Series of BFM on ABC. We'll be right back. For over 30 years, people have been buying Poland chainsaws. Wouldn't use anything but a Poland. Poland, Ed. Poland. And for over 30 years, they've been mispronouncing our name. Poolan. Po. A pool. Po, pool. So we'd like to remind you that our name is Poland. And for a tough, dependable chainsaw, Poland is the only name you need to remember, no matter how you pronounce it. Poland. Welcome back to the World Series of BFM on ABC. Before the next fight, let's hear from the Rookie of the Year himself. When I get into the airplane, I know I'm going to be doing my job, and I also know that other people have done their job. I have that kind of trust in them that, that they're a professional, they're going to do their job just as I'm going to do mine. Trap has Buzz on the ropes. Let's see if he can close it out and set number four. Two, one, fight song. Well, I'm going to put him on the side of my scope to avoid the Fox 1 going left. I hope he should be on. There's that famous lag roll. Paul, Bobby, I cannot believe my eyes. What an upset. No rookies ever won the World Series of BFM. <laughs> Just don't tell Trap Johnson that. Can he win it? Paul, he's always capable of winning, and he is certainly has deserved another one. Looks like he's about 16 years old. And again, like I said earlier, nobody thought he was going to be this good. It's time for a brute closer look. The main problem here, why he loses this set, is Buzz does nothing to generate any sort of angles or any sort of closure for Trap Johnson. And so the finals are set. It's going to be Trap Johnson versus Bonanza Thompson. We'll be back after a short commercial break. Dead Mother, this is X-Ray Tangle 127. We're at Angels 11, bearing 090, over. Nice going, Mustang. Maneuvers completed. Relax and uh, have one on me. Roger, Dead Mother. Great. Problem, Mustang. No problem. Trouble with your refreshment system? Uh, negative. Hi, boys. 
There's one Diet Cola with a taste that's turning the world upside down. Diet Pepsi. The F-15 is designed to maximize our technical capability today to put the very best we know how to put into an air-to-air -air environment involving maneuverability, involving excess uh, thrust, uh, in involving uh, integrated fire control systems, involving uh, uh, the, the armament to give us uh, the very best in air superiority. The people in the Air Force Organization and the McDonnell Douglas Corporation and Pratt Whitney are technical experts and they're problem solvers. And there's a great shot of the Alamo brought to us as always from the good folks at Goodyear. It's been truly amazing to see what the team at McDonnell Douglas has been able to do partnering with Pratt & Whitney to provide a platform for a young talent like Trap Johnson. And they've got to like their chances here in the final against Bonanza Thompson and that General Dynamics F-16. And the crowd is on the edge of their seat. Here's Trap Johnson with those twin Pratts. He's got a lot of thrust to go with a lot of talent. It all comes down to this, the final set, tied 2-2. This is what BFM's all about. Look at Bonans exploding in the vertical. Johnson's in a rate fight now, staying level. Thompson's over the top now. Does he have over the top airspeed? Can he stay with him? He's got the range, but does he have the angles? There's Trap breaking right again. We got a knife fight in the phone booth. Trap's trying for that lag roll again. Bodian's better watch out. Bodian's is trying to go up again against an eagle. What's he thinking? Bingo. Oh, but there's the gun rest. There's 15 frames. The ref's going to want to take a look at this one. It's official, that's good kill, and Bonanza Thompson has won. Time for another brute closer look. He's got the closure absolutely under control, a nice stable plane of motion, everything you need for a great gunshot. What a kill by Bonanza Thompson. Bobby, you can see why he's a fan favorite. Everybody loves this guy. That was huge. That was huge. Gotta love you guys. Great job. Way to hang in there. That's what I'm talking about. Fight and dig it, boys. That's what we do. The end of the fight means it's Miller time. Here's the Miller time recap. You can see Bonanza going over the top, and somehow he gets his nose coming up as the jet's going down. Paul, I've never seen anything like that. Well, folks, all that's left is to RTB for debriefing cocktails. Here comes Bonanza with a safety chase. What a win for that young man, and what a win for GE Motorsports to finally win the World Series of BFM. I'm sorry, Miss Thompson, but your husband is one heck of a great fighter pilot. Today's summary is brought to you by the good folks at Daihatsu. Well, it took all five sets to get 15 frames, but we finally got ourselves a new World Series of BFM champion. Congrats to Bonanza Thompson and the GE Motorsports team. After years of hard work, GE Motorsports is finally able to raise the Andre Cup. From all us on the ABC Sports team, so long from San Antonio, Texas. Standing up tall, taking their chances, risking.